the top teams, they looked like they were the ones that looked the most unbeatable. But so far, AL have not disappointed with Ale coming in, with Cabe counter. counter. Also loving the exhaust that KL is running, especially playing against Shears Cannon. Croco is going to pay Shear, visit. Shear gets the stun, though. Doesn't even have to flash. Really nicely played. Had the two stacks. Uh -oh. And now Croco <gasps> is out of position and Kanavi's found him. Sheer moves over to finish the job as well. But here comes Ala to try and turn it around. Sheer has to flash, but Ala executes him. Croco falls. And Ala now to 1v1 with Kanavi. And Kanavi finds the route. The red buff to slow. Flash on corner for both players. Ala will walk away. Oh, that was almost two to three items. However against AL, you are forced to try and play a little bit faster in this early game. I think this is going to have to be JDG's task for today. Can they basically beat themselves and be a little <laughs> bit more proactive in that early game? Croco. Can they fight their demons? He's in the fight yeah, again. Now his demons are in the mid lane right now, and he just is going to burn down. Croco autoing him to death as now the vines come through onto the rest of the team. KL gets the shield of Trisha. Oh, oh, oh. Finds Croco. He face plants into the wall. And JDG managed to answer the pick onto Yagao. A ruler finds a pick from downtown. Uh, and now Sheer? All in on the top side, Sheer uses his ult defensively, gets a stun, but Alice still has that Grandmaster's might. We've seen him find kills here before. Uh, known for the Ezreal, of course, and in desperate need of showing that he is back up on form. I feel like the bot lane for JDG was one of their statement pieces, if you will, to this roster, having ruler down there, especially with what a phenomenal split he had over in spring with all the Lucian appearances that he's had, who was so yeah. oppressive on the rift. Hasn't quite been the case for Summer, but he's looking to redeem that. Oh. Arrow in the mid lane, and it hits Yakao Cleanse. Immediately comes on. Wait, no, Buffett. Sorry, he does not have Cleanse. Shanks finishes the job. Great arrow from Hope. And now in the bottom side, Rule of Force away. Missing over the wall as well. Pyroclasm follows, though. It's a lot of damage. It's not a kill, but it should be a Drake. There is they do. I feel like the biggest... Uh, biggest players that we need to see a great game from are in the bot side from both teams to be honest jdg though starting these grubs off al already with three canard he caught kale can he follow up his ultimate is on cooldown but missing has to engage to try and save his team will be stunned up and will be taken down al find a kill perhaps six grubs but whether or not they want to commit is a different question it's taking the drake al finally will try and do precisely that. It's more in the back of the pit. There's a ward under the Drake as well. JDG looked like they were fight with lane. Kanavi. Yeah, he's only in the mid lane for now. Drake taken by AL, but perhaps a fight could come on through. Missing hunting for an engage here, but it's hard at that range what? as Rel without flash. I, I... So miscoordinated by JDG. Sheer pulls the TP after the dragon is gone. Are they going to spot him down the bot lane, which means top lane is pretty free for Ale. He's gonna pressure that really hard. Luckily for JDG, they're gonna use their bodies right there to try and oh, tank no. the tower and take it down. Oh my god, Sheer almost goes down on that one. Back, the backdoor bonus time down creep. there. He ulted a creep. He tried to ult Ale towards Kanavi to take him down, but he ends up ulting a creep. That was so unfortunate right there, JDG. You can tell right now they are getting desperate to try and make plays happen on the map. Try and potentially catch the Corky cash in on that 350 yeah. gold bounty but this is what al creates to you because of how fast they are on reacting on the map on taking things from you while you're busy creating fights on the other side of the map yeah it forces your hand as well and jdg right here are looking to take that mid lane tower brom though very strong at defending yeah he's the, trying to the hold gonna on. go down eventually <laughs> <laughs> can only take so much of that onslaught it, unbreakable yeah. is uh, sort of a misleading ability name it is breakable eventually uh, he realizes he Unbreakable has to for a certain amount of time. TP up to the top side from AL. Al are going to try and look as Yagao caught. Oh, flashes away from the stun. Nice try from Kroko. That's top tower secure. That was a play that I wasn't necessarily expecting coming in from AL. I know that Ale had a low priority towards the top side of the map and that JDG had taken complete control of the bot side since they wanted to take that dragon away from AL. However, I do not feel like AL have enough damage. has been control of the map, but then JDG did get the most recent Drake. How do they turn the tide? No, no way! Hit by Hope's Ash Arrows, that's for sure! Hope has been incredible on this Ash pick. 
What is Vanger doing all this time? Hope has been aim hacking this entire game. He's been throwing arrows from outside Summoner's Rift and hitting everyone on the sideline. Absolutely incredible precision. Coming in from Hope, constantly forcing JDG to play with numbers disadvantage on the Rift. Again, going back to your question, I feel like JDG is a team build in this particular draft. To go all in, you've got the cannon, you've got the rel for themselves. Trying to build up. Back up to even. And they almost are. They're all it's just a 300 yeah. gold difference yeah. right now. I wasn't sure if Ganabi was actually gonna start the Baron there. Missing moves in, get some vision control, sets up for Yag out to finish the tier one of the top side. And Kanavi continues to extend that vision control further into the jungle of AL. Uh -oh. AL not gonna let that go without a fight. Ala has found a very deep flank. He TP'd onto that ward, but it's not even needed. Yakhouse is found by the rest of the team, and Kanavi now becomes the target. Strangled Thorns come down. Alice got a bit too deep, but he's got a Seekers. He keeps himself alive. The root comes up through. Can't strike. Not enough, and Sheer gets his moment over the wall. The stuns come through, but it's not enough, and AL's still fighting out. Roller dives forwards. Krogo the target turns golden as Roller in a 2v1 finds them. He's back. You criticize Ruler for not being peak performance. Ruler is back to that peak performance. Zara and Ezreal staying alive means you can use the plants to go for the Baron as well. You have to use them sort of as damage sources and as tank source as well. So you'll see one hit will go onto the ta onto the plant. The other one will be tanked by JDG. And what a fantastic team fight to bring them back he into it as well. I guess because. Croco is still in Zonyas and Seekers. The E's target had to be Shanks. It was the only target available. Fantastic play from Ruler. Immaculate team fight. Sees the angle to dive in 1v3. Obviously, a bit more damage coming out from Kanavi as well, but jumps forward into 3 to. Whoa! Wow! What? Wow! Seven is that a that was, It's not even late game. That was a 26 minute fight. That is obscene. And for anyone who's going to say that it's placebo, because Ezreal is a poke champion, he single-handed almost won them that entire oh, fight. No. Did you land in everything? Oh, oh, no. oh, oh God. I will shut up next time. I'll shut up next time. That was straight up Casa Curse. I'm sorry, Ruler. I'm sorry, man. I mean, look, there's only also, so many bodies one by one into JDG, and JDG picked them apart, four versus five. It's not going to be quite the same case right here. AL have a lot of range in their kit, and if you dive into them, Brand is going to have oh, an shit. absolute great time. Oh, Shanks. He's found Shanks, he's found Shanks on the bot side of the play. JDG with a man advantage. AL sent packing on the bottom side. The Croco caught Croco. back a bit, has to flash, and now the arrow goes in. Ala finishes off one and evens things up. Ala back out of the pit. It will be Drake for JDG. That was a great try for a save from Alec. Coming out of AL, not particularly his game. <laughs> that was in a big this one. Ooh, ooh, coming through there. Alice got on the top side. Oh no. We were in a replay. We were watching the oohs and ahs from the crowd. And Ala ends up falling. An uncharacteristic mistake from him. Now Cracko. Croco, sorry, will be forced to back away. He's one HP. He's surely going to go down. Kyle tries to save him, but Kyle might just fall as well. Oh, oh the Ruler. snipe from Ruler is gorgeous. Yago over the wall just finds a way to die before the team fight is over. Fantastically consistent play from Yago this game, but Ruler turning this into a win for JDG. These fights have been immaculate. They could end up ending the game. There is 20 seconds on to Ale and about 30 plus for anyone else. JDG are just storming mid lane to take the game. Yagao having a struggle, but the rest of JDG making it happen. Kyle trying to pull the minion wave away, but he falls. And with a cannon there, this will be game. Aya looked so good early on in the game, but when it came down to it, JDG stepped up.